Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and today we're covering some Final Fantasy XI related news that pertains to the future of the game's operations. The current producer, known by the community as Matsui P, is stepping down after over 10 years in the role, handing the role over to Yoji Fujiro, who is the game's current director. Basically, Fujiro will be taking on a kind of Yoshi P-esque stance, where he is both the director and the producer, at least if I'm understanding all of this news correctly. Now, of course, that raises a lot of questions for what's going to happen to Final Fantasy XI after its 20th anniversary, which passed last year and is still kind of ongoing with the updates to the current story in the voracious resurgence, as well as some other content that has recently been released for the game. Fortunately, they have a great transparency with the community, and so we have some comments from both Fujiro and Matsui regarding this change of the guard. Now, first we have the ex-producer Matsui P here, who has quite a few words just regarding how it got to this point, why he's deciding to step down in the first place. So this past year, we celebrated the 20th Bobiversary of Final Fantasy XI, and I would like to thank you for helping us celebrate this important milestone. I really feel like our hard work paid off. I have not finished the Voracious Resurgence just yet, but I have enjoyed it up to, I believe, Chapter 8. There's quite a bit left for me to do especially involving the new prime weapons, which as I understand are required for the story. And I do probably plan on finishing that sometime this year. As we were preparing to launch the festivities, I gave a lot of thought about what I would do once it was over. I was originally prepared to stay on until retirement, but what would actually happen after that was still up in the air. It was then that Mr. Fujino mentioned his desire to succeed the role of producer. I had much to reflect on during the 20th Vavaversary year, and the fact that it was just about 10 years since I took on the, the producer role, in addition to Mr. Fujido's proposition, felt like a sign of sorts. I think that's, that's interesting, because I think everyone wondered what would happen to Final Fantasy XI after the 20th anniversary. Almost every year, people are wondering how much longer Final Fantasy XI will remain operable. And they've kind of given a lot of people hope over the last several years as they've constantly ramped up the actual development of new content features and even story, which was a big surprise after the finale that was Rhapsody's Havana deal. So the fact that the producer was feeling the same way is a little concerning. That being said, the fact that somebody else wants to take over that role means there's still some hope for the future. And we will cover that later in this post. You may remember that three years ago, I shared with you that our three-year plan for Final Fantasy XI as we approach the 20th Bobiversary. I admit to being a touch concerned that some of you would interpret that to, see, even he's talking about it here. We would call it a day once the celebration was over, but instead I was blessed with all the positive reactions of those who were happy to know that the game would continue on for at least three years longer. Some of you were worried whether XI was still profitable, and I, understand, and I understood that your biggest fear was the possibility of XI shutting down. I love that this is at the forefront of every everything that they're saying, because it is a perfect reflection of the Final Fantasy XI community when referring to retail, constantly wondering when there's going to be that forum post, when's, when's it going to be the shutdown of operations, not without anything to, to succeed it, but still that thought. I, I know it plagues everyone's mind. I mean, some people don't even know XI's still operable right now. When I look back on my approach over the last 10 years, I feel I was rather conservative and placed too much emphasis on ensuring that 11 continues on. The person who proposed making improvements, such as revamping the installer, thank you, and adding the term filter was in fact Mr. Fujito. Based on those moments, especially in his display of initiative to carry on in my stead, I am confident that no one is more suitable than Mr. Fujito to carry on Vanadil's legacy as producer. Yeah, I feel like they've mentioned this before, that the current director was really the one driving and pushing for more changes, things to actually improve Vanadil and not just maintain it. So it's no surprise that he wants to take on both roles, though what that actually means will be covered more later in this post. There are many people whom I would like to thank on this occasion, but I've had previous opportunities to extend my gratitude to everyone, so I'll try to keep things brief. I was first appointed as producer when we were preparing for the launch of Seekers of Adulin. Really like that expansion. It was the first time in a while that we were launching a new expansion, and our team of accomplished developers put forth a tremendous effort. Our team was then downscaled, nevertheless, we poured our heart and soul into Rhapsody's Havana deal, and the, result, the results of which, including the development process, turned into a magnificent memory, 
Thank you all very much. I can vouch if you are someone who is part of the old guard for Final Fantasy XI and you never took it upon yourself to experience Rhapsody's of Vanadil. Listen, I'm not much for playing Final Fantasy XI on the regular anymore, regardless of the version that you're choosing to play. Just not much my speed. That being said, you owe it to yourself to at least complete Rhapsodies of Vanna Deal. Odds are there'll be a lot of good memories in there for you. Then there are members who remained with the team afterward. We handpicked the members whom we felt could best cover all aspects of the game with as few members as possible, and it wouldn't have been possible if even a single one of you was missing. We even pushed through the unexpected hardships brought on by COVID-19 pandemic, which we owe to your continual stellar performance. Yep, only shout out. Dude, working with decade-old technology has got to be an awful experience that they went through, <laughs> but they did it. They did it well. I'd also like to thank our former colleagues who endeavored alongside us in the development and operations or supported us through other means. Looking back at the 20th anniversary, I'm humbled to know that our accomplishments were largely due in part to the immense legacy left behind by those who came before, including our allies from other companies who went above and beyond to assist Final Fantasy XI. Thank you for all you have done to make the game what it is today, and I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Self-explanatory. And last but not least, to our adventurers. Hey, that's me some of the time. Thank you all for supporting XI for the past 20 years. The development team is incredibly fortunate to have such strong and direct encouragement from our passionate players. My heart is filled with gratitude for all of you, the protagonists whose various journeys wove together the world of Vanadil. Our community is the source of the magic that truly sets Final Fantasy XI apart from other games. And more than anything else, I enjoy hearing from you about your adventures. I will continue to support XI moving forward and hope you'll keep weaving your own tales in Vanadil. Matsui P was very much loved by the community, so so while he will, while him stepping down from the producer role is a bit of a letdown, it's good to see such a heartwarming message. And again, these are things he's expressed over the years, hence why he said he would keep it brief. So none of this is a surprise that he feels this way to anyone who's kept up with it. But all the same, always a good read, especially if you're someone who hasn't kept up with 11 related news in recent times. Now we have the current director who is taking over the role of producer. Now, I don't think it says explicitly anywhere here that he is taking on the dual role of director and producer. He just keeps saying he's taking on he's taking on the role as a new producer. So I don't know if they plan on if he plans on passing the director role to anyone or if he does actually plan to take the Yoshi P style role with this one. We shall see. Greetings, adventurers. Fujito here. I'll be taking over as the new producer of Final Fantasy XI. Those of you who follow Freshly Picked Vanadil may have seen this coming. While this may be a surprise for the rest of you, Freshly Picked Vanadil, I think, is a Japanese like broadcast that they do. Uh, I think once a month or so, maybe a little less frequently than that. I've never actually watched it, though. I have seen the occasional translation of the stuff that comes out of it, and I believe they even post those translations on the official forums for Final Fantasy XI. I have to take a look. But in other words. Some people knew this was going to happen just from stuff that was already public. But for those of us who don't keep up, as he says, it may be a surprise for the rest of you. Both Mr. Akihiko Matsui and his pre uh, predecessor, Mr. Hiromichi Tanaka, were highly influential not only in Final Fantasy XI, but the Final Fantasy franchise as a whole. So I confess to feeling quite a lot of pressure. For those who don't know, uh, Mr. Hiromichi Tanaka was the 1.0. Was he the producer or the director? I actually don't remember which he was, but yeah. Yeah, 11, listen, I have good memories of his time with 11, but 1.0 is a time. <laughs> Nevertheless, I pledge to do my best in this role and would appreciate your support as I get my bearings. Since Mr. Matsui has already explained the circumstances behind the switch, I would like to focus on what's to come. So yes, the future of Final Fantasy 11 after this, what does this actually mean in terms of change? First, I'd like to talk about our development team. Most of our current development team has served exclusively on Final Fantasy 11 for many years. Remaining on the 11 team full time, however, would mean giving up certain opportunities in their careers as developers. For developers, working with new technologies and seeing the fruits of their labor take form in new products can be a huge source of motivation and an opportunity to grow. So rather than limit our developers to working exclusively with 11 and its decades old technology, I believe it would be better to allow them to gain experience in other development environments and bring their learnings to Final Fantasy 11. 
As such, I've elected to further downscale the scope of our development team to provide more leeway for our operations to continue. The scope of our version updates will become quite compact as a result, but in exchange, we will focus on stabilizing our operations environment for the medium and long term. So it's easy to read this in a couple of ways. I think a lot of people will focus on how he wants the developers to go out and experience other development environments and see that as a the team is getting smaller. I interpret this more kind of directly what it's saying. They are going to be able to explore other things, but still have that experience and bring it back to 11 to try and improve it in ways they haven't thought to do yet because they've just been kind of contained within this Final Fantasy 11 bubble that they've been operating within. I feel like they've actually done that quite well. They've done quite well despite being in that 11 bubble, but this is in every way, I think, a good thing, especially the reiteration of the operation operations environment for medium and long term. This isn't a, we're going permanently into maintenance mode. This is, we're gonna scale things back from what we've been doing the last few years and then see where we're gonna go from there as we bring more of this stuff and focus on making sure this is something that can continue and not something that just kind of ends with this more recent news. For 2023, the rest of the year, they're gonna focus on Ambuscade updates. Those are monthly, those are almost nothing in terms of like an actual content update. I'm sure that they might occasionally bring in something new with Ambuscade. I don't know how frequently they bring in a new opponent with Ambuscade. That being said, if you don't know, Ambuscade is like an activity that you can spam over and over again for points with multiple difficulties. Um, doing it on the highest difficulty gets so many points that most people will do that. Great at making money, building relics, mythics, and just earning a bunch of gear. In fact, if you're a fresh player, there's a good chance Ambuscade is a recommendation for you to get a few really basic things as you get into the max level content. Prime Weapon Reforging. Prime Weapons are basically the new relic style weapons that are part of the Voracious Resurgence. As I mentioned earlier, I believe that at least a portion of the upgrade is required for the Voracious Resurgence story, though I'm not sure how grindy said thing is, but it's Final Fantasy XI, so who would really be surprised either way? But that's gonna be something they continue to work on. And Master Trials, these are basically, uh, if, if I'm recalling correctly, these are super powerful endgame trials. Um, think of them like XI's equivalent of Ultimates. I, I need to double check, but I'm almost certain that that's what those were called. And they usually just come with major cosmetic rewards. They're a great way of flashing your EP in. And few of the toughest encounters that are in the game. So uh, the fact that they're working on more of those is something that I'm sure long-term fans. That's if I'm remembering, I'm almost certain that's what Master Trials are. In fact, while I'm reading through the rest of this, I'm going to quickly do this, Master Trials Final Fantasy XI, and just fact check, because I haven't done, yeah, incredibly challenging battle content intended for those who are able to stretch the limits of their jobs to the utmost. Yes, there you go. So they had um, the black and white Master Trial against Odin and Alexander at the same time. Uh, so yeah, there's a few, uh, Unafraid of the Dark against the Shadow Lord. So yeah, very much like Eleven's ultimate content equivalent for mostly cosmetic rewards. Fortunately for us, the current Final Fantasy XI development and operations team will continue providing support that so you can keep enjoying all Vanadil has to offer in the same way. So in other words, we're not shutting the game down. <laughs> operations means it's gonna operate. Additionally, we are working on replacing the back-end hardware which supports Final Fantasy XI's ongoing operations. This may cause maintenance to take longer than usual for some version updates, and I'd like to ask for your understanding as this is necessary to ensure the long-term stability of operations. I think this is a follow-up. I think several months ago, maybe even a year ago at this point, they made mention about how they were changing from using the physical PS2 dev kits to more virtual machine development. That way they didn't have to rely on the actual physical dev kit hardware that was you know, 20 plus years old at this point. Um, so it sounds like they're just working on improving that, which should mean that even with less, they can do more. And of course, make sure it's stable, things aren't late. It's just in every way better for the operations and the updates that they'll be doing. We're also looking into holding live events in the real world. <laughs> I like the, the double iteration, live events in the real world. I mean, a live event technically doesn't have to have people there. That's what happened with our, our fan fest for 14. It was a live event, but it didn't really get to be a live event in the same kind of way. And releasing new merchandise. I can vouch that they have new merchandise. I have a Mandragora mug and a Shantoto plush, and they've been doing a lot of stuff. They have a jacket. I was going to get the jacket, but honestly, I don't want to spend the money on it right now. It's a really nice looking jacket. Uh, and uh, the pandemic made it difficult to even entertain such notions these past few years, but we will be proactively monitoring current events for the right timing to make those ideas a reality. I have to imagine this is mostly gonna be isolated to Japan. That being said, pre-pandemic Final Fantasy XI had started kind of showing back up 
to places like PAX where they would do like the refrender and stuff like that. So it's always possible that they do plan something more official, even for the Western audience. I just wouldn't be surprised at that. Uh, we remain committed to keeping Final Fantasy XI an enjoyable environment where you can join fellow adventurers and our teams in their collective enthusiasm for the game. And I look forward to having the, having you with us on this journey. Finally, I imagine you may still have concerns about the future of Final Fantasy XI, which I believe is only natural considering the change in leadership. Please feel free to pose any questions you may have on the official forums, and I will address what I can in a future freshly picked Vanadeal broadcast, as well as the Final Fantasy XI digest for our overseas players. Thank you all for taking the time to read my greetings as your new producer. Hope you continue to enjoy Final Fantasy XI. So yeah, most of the time they would take whatever was on Freshly Picked Vanity Deal and put it in the XI Digest as the translations that I was referring to. So that's been the big thing with both Fujito and Matsui. They've both been really good at having that level of communication with the community, usually once or twice a month. So... That means we probably have a follow-up to this video at some point because we're probably going to want to tackle these questions a lot more directly in whatever pops up in the next digest over the next several months. So expect a follow-up video to this. But that's the news with Final Fantasy XI. How do I feel about it? Uh, I mean, I think we're kind of lucky Final Fantasy XI got to survive as long as it did. It seemed like Square Enix themselves were almost dedicated to the idea of killing it. I mean, 1.0 was literally meant to succeed XI, and when that didn't work, that's what kind of revitalized XI's development in the first place. That's why Seekers of Adolin came to exist, that's why Rhapsodies came to exist, and while I think they've still had a few too many fumbles trying to get Final Fantasy XI rooted in more media, specifically with the double-failed mobile games, Grandmasters and Final Fantasy XI Remake, uh, I, or Final Fantasy XI Mobile, I still think they need to look into that option. Not the mobile game option, but specifically another form of, of media that gets people into Final Fantasy XI. I have been championing, championing for a proper single-player Final Fantasy XI, and I'm not gonna lie. I feel as though you could do it Final Fantasy XII style. I feel like you could even go so far as to do it straight up turn-based and release the first turn-based numbered Final Fantasy game in quite some time. And I think that that would actually be kind of a hype move for them to make, but that is also a big ask. I don't think Final Fantasy XI could be one single, single player game. I feel like it would have to be multiple ones, similar to what we have with Seven Remake, given the scope of everything they have to cover. That being said, who knows what they'll do in the future. All I can do is watch on and tell you about it here on the YouTube channel. But that's gonna be a wrap for this news video. Let me know what you think in the comment section of the video below. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for any new Final Fantasy XI news that pops up. I'll be dipping back in probably in April or May as part of my count up leading up to Final Fantasy XVI, so keep an eye out for that as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and until then, take care.